Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to include a time delay or basically to pause a macro that you've written in Excel. Now if you'd like to get the workbook and the macros you're about to see here go to teachexcel.com search for the video tutorial and you can download them there. So basically you're, having, you, you're uh, creating a macro but you'd like for there to be a slight delay in there say five seconds, ten seconds, a minute, a day, an hour. Well I'm going to show you, <clears throat> show you how to do that with your macros. We're going to be using only two shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Alt F11 to open up the VBA window, Alt F8 to view the macros. So let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 and get started with our macro. Now here I have created a uh, simple macro to open up two workbooks. This is from one of the previous VBA tutorials. Very simply though, I don't like that uh, it's going to open up these workbooks immediately so that I can't see what's on the first one. Um, so I want to put in a little pause there. Now this is a very simple example of where to use it, but I'm assuming if you're watching this, you just really want to figure out how to pause the macro. So it's very easy to do. The syntax is simply application dot wait. You see the wait fills in, then pause or space. So application dot wait. Now we need to come up with a time. Well, I only want to pause it for five seconds because I'm not going to be able to do anything when I pause. I'll explain that in a minute, but I would like to just view the information a little bit. So I have to enter now, which is basically going to give me the current time. So whenever the macros run is is run, now will be that time. And then I want to add five seconds to right now. Now being when the macros run. So simply have time serial open parentheses. Time serial is just going to put it in the correct syntax and you see we need hour as an integer, minute as an integer, and second as an integer. So it makes us very easy to um, go to a time in the future. So I don't want to wait an hour. So for hour I'm going to put zero then comma. I don't, want, I don't want to even wait for a minute. So zero for the minute, comma. But I would like to wait some number of seconds and I would like to wait five seconds. So I put a five in for the second as an integer. Close the parentheses and uh, let's click away. So this is really all that it is to it, uh, all there is to it. Application.wait. We want to signify that we'd like to start from right now and add five seconds to right now. So let's run it, see if it works, and I'll come back to the screen afterwards. So Alt F11 to close the window, Alt F8. Now let's run this workbook. Now the first workbook opened, so we're waiting for the second one. And here we go, the second one's opened. You know that uh, these are separate workbooks because you see import CSV file with Excel at the top right here. Here you see VBA 13, cells property introduction. And here's our original workbook. So let's go back to this. And it's important to note that now is an important thing to include here because what that does is it's telling the macro or the um, this method right here application.wait it's telling that to start counting from right now now if we wanted to wait a minute with no extra seconds you would put a zero in for the seconds and a one in for the minute argument so now this is telling the macro to wait for one entire minute so what I'm going to do right now is um, we're not going to wait for the whole minute but I want to run this tell you a little bit about it and what happens if you accidentally hit one hour so you put a one in the wrong place how to get away or how to uh, exit out of that so let's run this macro alt F11 alt F8 and let's click run now so the first work workbook is open you can see my cursor is a little sand timer I cannot do anything in Excel or almost anything in Excel right now while the macro is paused. That's a very important thing to remember. But what happens if I set it for 10 hours or a day or you know one hour? How do I get around that? Since you can't do anything in Excel really, hit escape. As soon as you hit the escape key, it's going to cancel the macro. It's going to tell the macro to stop running. And then simply click end and your macro has stopped running. Let me close this workbook because the macro opened it. 
Alt F11. So that's um, what you can be careful of. And if you hit, you know, say a minute or an hour and you don't want to wait, simply type escape. Hit the escape key, it'll get you out of that problem. But you can't really do anything while it's waiting. So um, this is pretty much the syntax for the basic um, way to set this for waiting. You can also put variables in here except instead of actual uh, numbers. So you can put variables here and set the variables to a number or pick you have the variables um, set to the value of a cell in Excel. So you can do some other cool things that I'll show you in later tutorials. But for now this is the basic syntax for how you can make your macros wait for a period of time. Remember it's very important to include now if you want to wait um, so many seconds from now into the future. And the time serial simply goes hours, minutes, seconds. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download it there. That is pretty much it for this tutorial.